Ah, the Atari VCS, later known as the Atari 2600, released in 1978. I didn't have one as a kid, my first console was a Spectrum, and I went straight to the NES, so I've taken this evening to sample what the legendary console has to offer, by far the most successful console of the second generation, with 30 million units sold in its lifetime, and it has a unique place in gaming history due to its incredible popularity being responsible for the first ever gaming boom, and also a major factor in the great video game crash of 1983. More info on that can be found in the description. But for now, please enjoy a small selection of the good, the bad and the ugly that I discovered the old-fashioned way by judging the box art and title with a few classics that I recognise thrown in for good measure. So this is one of the latter, Missile Command from 1981, a lovely port of an arcade classic, still an ace game to play. Lovely. Proper Cold War era game, yeah, you've got to stop the uh, missiles hitting your cities or towns. You controlled your cursor with a rollerball in the arcade, as seen being played by John Connor in... The Galleria? <coughs> That's it, T-1000, sir. So yeah, it's still a really good game due to its ageless gameplay. Here's another good one, Dragonfire from 1982. It's all about that duck. You know, it's so fun doing that. So you avoid the fireballs going in, get into the cave, get your treasure, and another door will appear. Get out. And then the game just repeats itself again and keeps getting harder. But yeah, ace game. This one on the best graphics of any game that I came across. This is Solaris from 1986. Lovely scrolling, lovely planets moving around really fast. So yeah, you just fly around space. You can use the scanners to choose where you want to go, but I don't really know what the symbols meant because I made a vow not to use the internet to figure it out. You know, so some of these games are really hard like that without no, a manual or knowing what to do, but I just flew around shooting at spaceships. And these bits were fun. You know, which, you know like I say, lovely graphics. But then something mental happened. You know, I landed back on one of these planets, these scrolling ones, and then it all went red and crazy like this. And I thought, what the hell is going on? The fuel, the energy, you know, what it was about. So it just got too intense, so that's when I switched off. And this is my last of the good picks, for this video at least, uh, Battlezone from 1980. Impressive graphics again, I would have loved this as a kid. You just scroll around, shooting at tankies, use your radar to find the enemy. A few other mad things appear now and again as it gets harder like mad weird ships and UFOs as well. So yeah, you just scroll around like this really. You know, there's nothing seriously wrong with it, it's just old. You know, it's just about getting the high score. I'm not sure if you can get a high enough score to kind of change the, the level. I didn't get that far. So now we're onto the bad. This is Adventure from 1980, a highly influential game, but I did not enjoy playing it. So yeah, I just come down here, get attacked by a dragon, kill it with my sword. I'm like, oh smart, that was quite fun. So now I've got a key. You can only carry two, one item at a time, so I've dropped my sword. Go forward with a key, and another dragon comes after me. So I'm like, shit, my little dot. Just running back down here to get my sword. I'm like, grab it. I'm like, yeah. But it's just not there anymore. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. So I just carry on. I get lost in this maze. I'm like, bah. I get into a dead end now as well, and at this moment, you know, my patience, I'm ready to change game, give something else a try. I'm like, no, no, I'll persevere, yeah. So I carry on, I continue through the labyrinth. I finally find my way through it, and I go up here. I go here, and there's a gate, so what do I need? A fucking key! So I go all the way back. My patience is wearing thin again now as well, I don't know what the hell this purple thing is. But it seems important, but I just can't figure it out without the internet. But I do know I need the key for the time being. So I venture back to get the key. Leave my sword. So yeah, go back our key, burn back through the maze, get lost loads again before I try and figure out the right way again. If we go, I get back to the black door. In I go. Now there's some kind of magnet. Like, huh. Yeah, I go in here, there's a fucking duck dragon of some sort or something, and there's some kind of chalice that looks really important because it's flashing. But I don't know how to kill the dragon because I haven't got my sword. So I guess I've got to try and leave the room, you know, with the chalice. But, um, I continue trying to kill the dragon. You know, somehow, even though I had no weapon. Then the duck dragon eats me and I'm like, fuck it, adventure over, power off. 
Now we're onto the really bad. Get ready to have your mind monged. I've turned off the background music so you just can get the full experience of it. This is Superman, released in 1978. Ah, it's going to be ages to figure out what to do. These buttons, you can look at the screens around you, but it's just a noise. Yeah, fuck, I feel like I'm going insane. So yeah, I figured out. But if you go this way as Clark Kent, you see this bridge explode. I'm like, okay. So I can go back to the phone box now. And turn into Superman. And then the fucking noise. Oh my god, this game. So yeah, I just fly around for a bit then, just trying to figure out what to do. Doesn't make any sense. I mean, I don't know what happened here. Did I go inside a building or what? I don't know. And then I realise I can sort of grab the criminals and put them in the jail. So I guess that's the object of the game, as well as fixing the bridge somehow. So yeah, I find pieces of the bridge as well. So you go, yeah, you know, I've got one bit there. So yeah, Superman doing his job. So yeah, I continue to fly around through this bloody psychedelic hell. Putting prisoners away. Where they belong. And this fucking helicopter chases after me, making another horrible noise. It's just a series of horrible noises and colours that you just can't bear after about 10 minutes. Since read a wiki, apparently that's a Lex Luthor and that helicopter chasing me. Fuck. See, so yeah, here I am now, but I'm so. I go back, I find a second part of the bridge. Yeah, and I put it down, but then I go back and I go back up, and it's not even the same screen. So it's like, what the hell? So I'm like, fuck it. We move on to the ugly now. And, ooh, it's ugly. Because that is a man coming off a roof into the gaping mouths of two naked women. It's Beat em and Eat em from 1982, made by Mystique. Good grief. <laughs> Shit. This is another by the same developer in the same year. It's Custer's Revenge. I mean, it's General Custer naked except for his boots and hat. And you have to brave the arrows in order to rape a native Indian woman tied to a post for points. Outrageous, really. Obviously hugely controversial at the time, and it still is. I think Atari tried to sue them. I mean, Dance to the Wolves is definitely not. It's still a better love story than Twilight. So to finish on a lighter note, this is the Empire Strikes Back from 1982. I mean, it was an instant hit when it came out, and it's still looked fondly upon now, and it's served one purpose to me during this Atari session. It's really helped to hit home or remind me how much games have come on in the 30 plus odd years since this has come out. If you look at it compared to Battlefront and put them side by side, it's like, whoa man, isn't it fantastic to see how much of a hobby that we know and love has come on since those days. Exactly. So I hope you enjoyed this quick blast around the Atari 2600. I did play for hours and hours and I've got loads of footage, but this is just what I'm wanting to show for now. And I'll probably do another video like this in the future. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Twitter as well. It's much appreciated. There's my two playlists, uh, Retro and Modern. Have a look at one of those, you know, or, one, or both. I'm sure you'll find something that you like. Recommend me some Atari games or ones to avoid in the comments. And thanks again for watching then. Bye for now.